the Monster National. This next is a three mile naught to one thirty handicap. Quite sure what it's called a national then. And it's Master of Shadows at the top for Josh Sutherland, Liberty Bell, Jim Murray, Charlie Two Shoes, Stu Gray, Lawn Tennis, Graham Clitterbuck, Runner on Empty, or oh, Craig Allen, Deep Dale for Darren Thompson, Biddeford Legend, John Morgan, Penny Arcade, Alex Cherry, and Sapphire and Steel for Martin Lee. The match you feel then for all this Monster National calling it away. Uh, short run to the first, which looks like a ditch. And they're all safe to go that one with Deep Dale. The half length leader. The pace is somewhat pedestrian. Got a firm hold of Deep Dale. You can see the jockey took him back on the reins, not letting him have his head at all, and nothing seems all that keen to lead. And you can probably separate the whole lot of them by about three and a half lengths at the moment. So they're going to come past the stand, and they'll be going around the two complete circuits. And Deep Dale passes the winning post for the first time with a lead of a little more than half a length. So Penny Arcade in second, Pitiford Legend on the inside of the Blue Jacket is third, and they're moving into second, with Master of Shadows right on the rail. In comes Charlie Two Shoes. Run on empty. The deep now is opened up now by probably two and a half, possibly three. And Biddeford Legend, Master of Shadows, and Charlie Two Shoes, three in a line. With Sapphire and Steel just behind them, dropped back a little bit slowly. The grey is Lawn Tennis on the outside of that one. Jim Murray's Liberty Belt. Alex Cherry in the orange sleeves has got the one on the right, just jumping that one nicely there. Penny Arcade, Charlie Two Shoes in the black with the green sash is next to that one. Sapphire and Steel, the darkest coloured horse in the race. Gets over number four towards the back in the red rum colours and then Craig Allen's run on empty in the green and yellow hoops and there are a couple of them down on their nose there the Joshua Sutherland and the John Morgan horses Master of Shadows and Biddeford Legend both making mistakes at the same time and suddenly Deep Dale's lead is more like six uh, Liberty Bell in second on the outside of Lawn Tennis in third Penny Arcade's moved through into fourth two miles still to go and Deep Dale Clear in front. By a good six lengths to Liberty Well and Penny Arcade. Then Lawn Tennis and Biddeford Legend. Charlie Two Shoes and Master of Shadows. And then Sapphire and Steel and finally running on empty, but they're still there on way to go. Well over a circuit. And as we saw in the previous race, sitting out the back. The majority of the race. It's a good way to win sometimes. And Deep Dale is the leader. Clear of Liberty Belt. Midford Legend third. So they take that next ditch. And Liberty Belt was a bit slow that time. And Deep Dale bowling along in the lead. Six lengths clear coming up past the stand then. And now on a final circuit of the track with Deep Dale. Six or seven lengths clear of Liberty Bell in second. Penny Arcade is third and the Sapphire and Steel is four. Lawn Tennis is five and then Biddeford Legend is six and Master Shadows is seven. And then Charlie Two Shoes and finally Runner on Empty. So Deep Dale's had it all his own way so far. Leading by six. Penny Arcade is now a clear second. Biddeford Legend is third. Sapphire and Steel is fourth. And then Liberty Bell. Let's just drop back a little bit as they get to number nine. Oh, oh he's gone this time, Biddeford Legend. He made a mistake. And the jockey did his best to stay in the plate, but slipped out the side door. And that's the first one to depart the race then. As Deepdale continues to lead with Penny Arcade in second. Sapphire and Steel in third, Liberty Bell in fourth. As they get over the next, Sapphire and Steel was slow again. The one that's really dropped back there, Master of Shadows and Charlie Two Shoes. What's happened to those two? They've really dropped right out the back. And also, Lawn Tennis looks to be struggling, so maybe the pace is hotter than we thought as Digdale skips over the third from home with 
a lead of about six lengths. Sapphire still now being driven into second from Penny Arcade. Runner on empty was at the back. Would be the one to be on in my book at the minute in fourth. Then a big gap back to Master of Shadows, Liberty Bell and Lawn Tennis. And an even bigger gap back to Charlie Two Shoes. No deep does lead is now down to two as Sapphire and Steel throws down the challenge. But this could be a little bit too soon with four furlongs still to go. And it's Deep Dale on the inside of Sapphire and Steel. Gap off four lengths, then back to Runner on Empty, who's running on nicely. Then comes Penny Arcade, gap back to Lawn Tennis and Master of Shadows. The rest of them are out of the shot, but it's Deep Dale still in the lead. At the second last, gets over it nicely. Better jump though by Sapphire and Steel, who now takes it up. Sapphire and Steel from Deep Dale. Gap back to Runner on Empty in third, then Penny Arcade and Lawn Tennis. Over the final fence they go, and Sapphire and Steel landed in the lead. Deep Dale is fighting back though. They've got a furlong and a half to go, and it's Sapphire and Steel from Deep Dale. Deep Dale beginning to get back in the lead on the inside. Deep Dale looks the stronger now. Sapphire and Steel's got nothing left. It's Deep Dale in the lead. Deep Dale's going to take this one, I think, as they race inside the final half furlong. Sapphire and Steel is tiring. Runner on empty is closing with every stride, but it's not going to get anywhere near Deepdale. Deepdale takes it pretty closely. It's going to be close for second. Just run on empty. Sapphire and Steel third. Penny Arcade fourth. And then Lawn Tennis and Master of Shadows. And a strange race, really. With Deepdale off in the lead. And then being caught, but reasserted over the final flight, over the final fence, and taking it. But they're rather strange odds of 66 to 1. So, Dick Dale for Darren Thompson, the winner. Runner on empty for Craig Allen was second. Sapphire and Steel for Martin Lee on third. Penny Arcade, Alex Cherry fourth. And Lawn Tennis for Graham Clutterbuck.